G'day folks, welcome back to the Butcher's Block Project. In the interim, from the last episode, I've whipped around all of this work and uh, with the sander and the planer again to uh, make sure everything's nicely aligned when the block sits on the uh, on the frame and that there's no um, you know bits and pieces that are poking out and all that kind of thing. I got it all really nice, and now I need to move on to how I'm going to fill all these uh, lines and, and have some kind of surface finish with the surface of the timber. I've decided against epoxy because it's a shiny, very smooth and shiny finish uh, and I don't think I'd like all those shiny lines running around. Essentially what I'm going to have is pretty much a matte or dull type of uh, stain on here because I don't want anything too shiny so I've ruled out epoxy however a uh, employee of a large hardware chain store uh, in the paint department come up with a good suggestion that I infill all of the cracks with some packing strips builders packing strips masonite packers um, basically feed them in to just below the surface just a number of them so that uh, I pretty much fill the interior of that and then no more gaps this no more gaps is uh, contains wood fibers so it can be sanded and and it will take a stain and so all I need to do is find the closest color because they come in different colors this caulking and I've got two as an example. I'm going to do a colour test later on. With a, I'll run a wet sponge over the uh, block and make it sort of look like it's almost stained. And just have a sample each of these beside it to see which one best matches. So yeah, that's what I'll be working on now. Let's get to it. You've really got to love the idea of evolution of efficiency. There I was, individual pieces of masonite, just poking in there, poking in there, and trying to wedge them in tight. And then I thought, well, I've got all this width. Why not just go to your brother's shed, where you know there's some uh, offcuts of 3mm ply bracing board, cut them up into the width you want, and throw a whole piece in there, which pretty much wedges itself in there anyway. Then I've just got to get it below the surface. Oops. Bit tight this one. and down. You know what? I'll just slice that in beneath the surface. there we have it I've done all these so I will also do round the back I'll need thinner slices because these bolts are closer to the bottom the ones that are traveling across there they'll be easy to whack in just a little bit below the surface and then I can put just individual pieces into here uh, across this way so as you can see I've wedged in pieces of 3mm ply or the packer whatever fits best you can just see that timber in there this is probably the best one I've got around the sides there's a piece right there 
And so, we are about to get some rain, I believe. Got some pretty thick clouds coming in. Sorry, a little bit of a spittle drop on the uh, roof here. Uh, yeah, so I have the top and the sides packed just so that I can reduce the amount of um, caulking that I use. I still have to decide whether or not the two samples I have are a good color match. So far I have walnut and jarrah. Jarrah color. There are other colors available. Let's have a look at those. The heavy rain made all the mower louder because of the metal roof. Coming down. And so here we have Jarrah and Walnut. Jarrah is to your right walnut to the left walnut being the darker one i've just wet down the two blocks there to give an idea of what a stained look might be i'm not sure how well that's coming out i might put my phone's torch on there i'm a fan of dark I think I'd much prefer the walnut to the Jarrah. Somehow I think the Jarrah might just pop out a little bit too much. With the darker walnut. I think that darkness in between the more lighter of the block would look pretty damn good if you ask me. Well, that's a start. I just ran out of my only sample tube of walnut. But that's the colour I'm going with and uh, I've got to get more. It's a little bit too late in the day to go shopping now. I'll get it uh, while I'm out and about with work. It'll be interesting to see what that's like when it's all sanded up. I hope it works out. I hope it's the right colour. Timber.
block of wood fell on my nose. Lucky it wasn't this block. I'd be dead right now. The block has been sitting for a few days. It is fully corked. Uh, there's probably a couple little areas where a bit of shrinkage, but I'm going to sand it all back now. It's going to take me a little while. Maybe a couple of pieces of sandpaper. I'll get all that done and we'll have a look at it. You'll be glad to know that I didn't subject you to a couple of hours of sanding. Uh, it's all sanded now. I started with a, uh, a I think a 40 mil grit just to uh, get rid of all of the built up corking. Uh, and then I ended with a finer grit, probably a 220 grit piece to um, go over the entire surface along the sides. It's all super smooth and I think it's ready for staining. In fact it's definitely ready for staining along with the base I think. Um, I ended up with shrunken grooves uh, but I think it adds to I think it's a bit of an age indicator. So it works for me. I don't think I need to fill them flush. There are a couple of areas that are flush, but I would say most of it have shrunk just a little bit. But again, I think that's a, a bit of an age indicator. It's looking really good. I'm very, very happy with it. Of course, I still have to find my boards that will go around the sides, which I haven't found yet. I need to get out to a secondhand timber place or something like that. I've been uh, taking every opportunity to search people's places while I'm working there. Alright, staining time. Here we go. for a first coat. <clears throat> well, we have a second coat on the block. It's looking mighty fine. And we have the first coat stain on the base. Those legs came up really, really dark. But it looks good. So there we have it. One coat of stain, clear stain on the base. Two coats on the block so far. We'll do one more on the block. And I think only two coats on the base. Looks fine as it is. Red jelly bean. Alright, time to get to those coats. Coat 
on both the base and the block. Final coat for the block and final coat for the base. I'm sure you can see how shiny they are right now. I'm hoping it doesn't go on too long, too much longer. Maybe I'll try and fit all the finishing into one final video. Hopefully you're sticking around and looking forward to the end, just as I am. And then you can all breathe a big sigh of relief. No more butcher's blocks. Take care everyone.